Hello everyone. Welcome back to Jom Study Live YouTube channel. Today's lesson is about IGCSE chemistry, rate of a reaction. So before I proceed, please subscribe to this channel for those who have yet to do so. Okay, for those who have already subscribed, let's focus on reaction rate. What is reaction rate? Reaction rate of reaction is the change in concentration of a reactant or product with time. In other words, rate of reaction is a measure of how fast or how slow something is happening. So the rate is a measure of the change that takes place in unit time. The measure of the change can be in a form of mass or volume. So any unit of time can be used such as second, minute or an hour. The formula to calculate rate is change in concentration of reactant or product is divided time taken for this change. Cost of reaction can be measured as 1. The decrease in mass or some other property of a particular reactant as the reaction progress. Second, the increase in volume of gas or some other property of a particular product as the reaction progress. In other words, changing the condition of a reaction can alter the rate of reaction. What are the factors affecting the reaction rate? There are four factors. One is a concentration of reactant. Two, surface area. Three, temperature. Four, addition of catalyst. So in this topic, we will focus on photochemical reaction and photosynthesis. Let's look into reaction rate and change in concentration. Increasing the concentration, decreasing the distance between the reactant particles. More reactant particles per centimeter cube. The rate of collision is increased. There are more collisions per second between the particle. The kinetic theory suggests that when particles collide, a proportion of them react. More collision per second, the faster the reaction rate. Oops. When explaining the effect of increasing concentration on reaction rate, there are two things that you need to consider. More particles per unit volume, and there is increased rate or increased frequency of collisions. Let's look into the second part or the second factors affect reaction rate and change in surface area are the greater the surface area of a solid, the greater the number of particles exposed. Breaking up calcium carbonate into smaller pieces exposes more surface, resulting more particles available to react. So using the same mass of marble, smaller pieces react faster because there are more react reactants particles of solid exposed per centimeter cube of solution and the rate of collision between the solid and reactant particles in solution is increased so the reaction rate is increased the reaction rate and change in temperature 
particle must have a minimum amount of energy in order to react when they collide. So this is called activation energy. At low temperature, only a small number of particles have sufficient activation energy. So the reaction is low. An increase in temperature increases the kinetic energy of the particles. The particles move faster and have greater energy. The higher the temperature, the more energetic the collisions between the reactant particles. The higher the temperature also, the greater the number of reactant particles have energy above or equal to the activation energy. So the number of collision leading to reaction is increased. So as a result, the reaction rate also increased. And, and then for the first factors that affect reaction rate and change in addition of the catalyst. What is actually the catalyst? Catalyst is a substance which speed up a chemical reaction without being used up or chemically changed after the reaction. What is enzyme? Enzyme is a biological protein catalyst which speed up the rate of most reaction taking place in living things. Enzyme work best over a narrow temperature range, most inactive below zero Celsius and decrease in the activity above 40 Celsius. The mass of catalyst is the same at the end as at the start of the reaction. A small amount of the catalyst can cause a big increase in reaction rate. So the chemical composition of the catalyst at the end of the reaction is the same as at the beginning. Catalyst can solid, example manganese dioxide or substances in solution, example hydrogen ion. Photochemical reaction is one of the example reaction rate and change uh, in a catalyst. So photochemical reaction is a reaction which is catalyzed by light or dependence on light for the reaction to occur. Some reactions only occur in the presence of light or are catalyzed by light. These are called photochemical reactions. The substitution of hydrogen atom in methane by chlorine atom in the presence of ultraviolet light is an example of photochemical reaction where the greater the intensity of the ultraviolet light, the faster reaction rate between the chlorine and methane. Let's look into silver salt in photography. The surface of film for black and white photography contain crystal of silver bromide. When light shines in the film, some of the silver bromide decompose to silver and the silver bromide appears colorless at low concentration but the silver appears grey-black. Part of the film exposed to a stronger light appear dark grey or black and those exposed to weaker light appear light grey and part which is not exposed to the light appear white. So the reaction is a catalyzed redox reaction. We have reduction and oxidization. So a positive print is made by shining light through the negative onto a piece of photographic paper. Let's look into photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis is the process of producing glucose and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water in plant in the presence of chlorophyll and lights. And sunlight is absorbed by pigment in the plant called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll acts as catalyst 
in the first step in the process. The greater the amount of sunlight absorbed, the faster is the rate of photosynthesis. With that being said, that will be end for this topic presentation. Hope you all are doing well in your study. And by the way, if you want to get the detail or customized note, just click at Jom Study Like Instagram link. And last but not least, please press the thumbs up like button, subscribe to Jom Study Like YouTube channel, and follow me at Jom Study Like Instagram. Thank you.